So today we have Napoli in the playoff for the Champions League. We're doing both legs. Let's hope we can get through to the round of 16. In the heart of northern Italy lies a town steeped in footballing history. Welcome to Vercelli, home to one of the most storied clubs in Italian football, Pro Vercelli. Languishing in the lower leagues as its once glittering legacy faded into obscurity. But now, a new chapter is about to be written. A chapter of redemption, revival, and triumph. Get ready to witness the rebirth of a footballing legend. This is Football Manager 24, the Pro Vercelli Chronicles. Hello and welcome back to the Pro Vercelli Chronicles. Since you were last with us, we went on to draw two all against Palmero with which you saw because I can't count. We went on to face Torino and won five 0 with Zhao, Xavi, Costa and Ramos Brace. Before then being an easy 5-1 with Ramos getting a brace of penalties, Bondhouse and Randolovic getting a brace. We tried something slightly different for that game, which we're planning on using today in our away leg. And that is this formation. It's a diamond, but it just leaves that holding mid holding um midfielder just to offer the support to the back four um, away from home in big games. We're still attacking mentality, but let's get going, shall we? With Nunes in goal, with Hochmeister, Rennie, Hein and Diaz at the back. Kirby Assi behind Milenkovic and Tonali in midfield, with Randolovic behind Costa and Bondhouse up top. The reason we did do this in the last game was because Costa and a couple of others were tired. So this fitted the players we had fit. And it seemed to work really well. I was really happy with it. So I thought, away from home, it could just offer the back four that little bit of support that they need. Or could be a complete failure and Napoli score within five minutes. Wow. Wow. Well, 1-0 wouldn't be the end of the world. A draw would be a good result away from home. So, here is Bondhouse. Plays it into Costa. Is that a penalty? Referee says no. And it goes out for a goal kick. And we have gained possession. <laughs> Which is key. Come on. It's still only 1-0. But Achmach has a corner kick. And Kowalski has put the ball in the back of the net to make it 2-0 to Napoli. There's not a lot we can do if we're losing from um, corners. But it's a very even game. If we can grab a goal, then it puts the tie, probably, you would think, almost back in our hands. But if we concede one, the tie could be gone before it's even started. Wow. He's missed it. Ooh, we escape there. We have not played well. Um, we are going to thrash arms, tell them to sort it out. We are then going to come in and make changes. Randolovic is coming on for Zhao. We're going to change that role to an attacking midfielder as well. Um, main news going to come on and we'll throw uh, Tonali back there 
change him to just be an anchor man let's go making a couple of changes at half time just to try and liven this team up a little bit here is Tenali to Milonkiv Hain Diaz now on the right he plays it into Bondhouse through to Milenkovic Zhao takes it off of him. Can he find Diaz out wide? He does. Diaz plays it in back to Zhao. And he forces a save from Davies. This is our Davies. And since being leaving us, he had picked up another injury, which kept him out for a, quite a while. So I'm glad we did cash in on him. But he is fit today. And that is a worry. Because he's been playing quite well and he is a very good keeper, as we know. It was just the injury proneness that we didn't particularly like. Ramos is going to come on for Bondhouse. Hockmeister's looking tired, so Klein can come on for him as well. So that's four subs. We've got one more left. Diaz plays it back to Tenali. Milenkovic, Mainu, Hein, Diaz, Hein, Mainu to Zhao, to Ramos, who tries to chip the keeper, and unfortunately that's off target. As for some reason, our match stats have gone. Hines going to get that clear and just passes it to nobody. Diaz, Milenkovic, plays it back towards Mainu. Klein gets it. A brilliant shot, but it comes off the post, unfortunately, and comes bouncing back out. And now Napoli are on the break. We do have men back, though. And it looks as though we do. We intercept with Mainu. Mainu plays it forward to Costa. Costa into Ramos. Can Ramos find a ball into the centre? They're queuing up into there. Mainu plays it across to Milenkovic. Diaz now with space. He forces a save from Davis in goal. And Tonali takes the corner. Unlucky there. We're going to pause. I'm going to put the match stats up. We are going to bring Diaz off for Garcia as our final change. We're going to go attacking and encourage them. Can we nick a goal? It doesn't look promising. We're going to have to go and win at home in order to turn this tie around. I'll play Palmer offline and then we'll be back for the vital second game against Napoli. Welcome back to the second leg. In the game in between, I just thought we haven't spoken about so... We won 5-2, Milenkovic getting four and Bondhouse on the score sheet, meaning today we've got Nunes in goal, Hockmeister, Rene, Kirby Assi and Garcia at the back, Mainu and Milenkovic in midfield with Costa, Randolovic and Bondhouse out wide of Ramos up top. Um, so while we're, we're starting this game off... Um, Obviously, I want to just quickly mention about um, the attack in, is it Southport? Southport. Um, obviously, it happened, as I'm recording this, it happened last night and everything's going on today. Um, rumoured reports are the Prime Minister's on his way there, Nigel Farage, Liverpool players of some description, um, potentially on their way as well. 
Um, I'm not going to go into the he's and who's. Um, there are a lot of fake news reports. This guy was born in Wales. Um, so anything else you hear about him coming over on a boat and all of this and all of that is rubbish. Um, but as far as that goes, I don't think he deserves the acknowledgement of any kind. Um, just because he's 17 doesn't mean that he should be given any sort of leniency. Um, that age, you know the difference between right and wrong. But my thoughts are with all the families and friends and anyone affected um, by that what's happened um so yeah uh obviously by the time you're seeing this a lot has probably come out um we probably know a lot more um but just thoughts are with people anyone anyone involved so uh let's move on and hope for a victory here and hochmeister has picked up a knock but he's playing really well, so it's... I don't know whether or not to bring him off. Um, I think we'll keep him on till half-time, unless things change. But as things go in, it's 1-0. It's 3-1 on aggregate. We need a couple more goals, please. And as the attack comes through, we've managed to get the ball off and Ramos now... On the ball. What can he do? Plays it back to Hochmeister. Who spins. And that's a poor ball. That's a tired ball. That looks like the substitution is going to have to be made. Costa comes back. Gets the ball play. Hochmeister. Plays it to Randolovic. Bondaus. Milenkovic. Plays it out towards Garcia, and Garcia does get there, and he's through. Garcia opens up for him, and he puts the ball in the back of the net, and with that, we are going to pause and make the change. Hockmeister needs to come off, but we don't really have anybody that can come on for him. What about Diaz? Can't really do it. Um... I think we're going to change things up a bit here. I think we're going to bring Domico on, throw him in there. Uh, Rene, wide centre-back on defend. Kirby Assi, wide centre-back on defend. They might be better that now. We're going to keep him that way and throw Garcia as a DM. He can't really do that, so we're going to bring on Ben Rose and probably play Mainu back there as a DM on... as a deep-line playmaker on defend. Um, we're going to try that. We're going to have you as a non-nonsense centre-back so we can just get clear. We're going to give this a go. It may be really, really poor, but without the wide players, it's probably the best we can do at the moment. We may change it up again at half-time, but we'll see. Kirby Assi picks it up, plays it into Milenkovic, Dominika, Rene, Rose, Costa. Can Costa find a ball cross? He plays it back to Rose. He plays it through to Randolovic. Is he onside? I think he is, and that equalises the tie just before half-time. Yes. That puts us right back in it. Let's keep going. So now do we... What do we do? Um, I think we've got to keep as is at the moment. 
see how things go because we do need at least one more goal and then we can adjust after that Rene to Costa Costa through to Randolovic who puts it in the back of the net and that's four yes that's what, what are you checking for goal's been disallowed offside oh what who was offside oh I don't know about that one we're going to praise them they're playing well it's Dominic to Rene back to Kirby Assi Dominic Mainu Plays it over the top to Costa. Can Costa find a ball in? Plays it back to Rose. Mainu. Mainu now cuts round. Can he find a ball in? Plays it to Bondaus. He back heels it towards Ramos. And the shot is blocked away for a corner. And boys and girls, the heroics again in Europe has started here. We did it. In the Europa League many, many seasons ago now. And it just kind of screams that is this going to be our season with this kind of comeback? Is Rose. Oh, just over. Can we keep going we are total domination we're going to encourage them to go and get this goal i think we might have to make some changes in a minute or two here is bond house plays it through ramos oh he could have made himself a hero if that had gone in rose though with the corner Plays it towards the near post. Unable to find a wide shirt, but Costa regains it. Kirby Assi plays it out to Rose. Rose, and it's wide. And he was offside, I believe. Ball's chipped forward out to Cavallara. Dominic intercepts. Plays it to Milenkovic. Randolovic, can he find a ball out? He does to Bondhouse. Bondhouse now takes the shot from distance. This is getting fun. We're going to make one more change now. We're going to bring Milenkovic off. Mainu comes forward and we're going to bring on Hein in there. Swap Hein to be the wide centre back and Kerbyassi can go in as the deep line playmaker in there. And here is Rose. Plays it over to Ramos and that forces a save. Or oh, it's wide apparently. We might need to make more changes. We've got to hold on actually. Please come on. Don't you dare foul him. Don't foul him. And that's been bounced around and is out for a corner. And they've been pretty good at corners over these two ties. Come on, come on. I don't like it. Oh, Nunez has got hold. Plays it out to Hein. Hein plays it forward to Mainu. And the ball goes out. And... That's three all. Come on then. What are we going to do now? Uh, I think... Javier or Pingle. Neither are particularly good at penalty, so we'll bring Javier on. Oh, actually. We could, we're going to play Guerrera out wide there. Fiala's coming on out wide as well. 
Um, Manu's tiring, so we'll bring Tonali on for him and just try and get us over the finish line. We are in the second half. Going to just have a quick look through the subs and see who is the best penalty taker. We're going to pause it now. We're going to have a look and just see, have we got a sub left? No, we haven't. We've made six. Okay, that skip that idea. Come on. Just get the goal. I don't like penalties, it hurts. Oh no, I mean, I mean, I love penalties. Oh no, I don't like penalties. Come on, just get the goal, go on. And then I'll go uber defensive. Tonali, Guerrero off the bar! I thought he had done it, and now they cut. I like penalties again. I like penalties. I like penalties. Don't, don't. I, d I didn't mean it. I, I like, I like penalties. Please, please. Uh, oh, okay, I don't like penalties. <laughs> score. If we can score, I don't like penalties. Come on, we've got this, Dominic Kerbyassi. Rene, Rose, plays it out, Fiala, to Randolovic, back to Rene, back out to Fiala, out on this right wing, and apparently the ball, it just ended like that, okay, that's weird, penalty shootout, shall we, ch we will we'll change the camera to behind the goal let's go Nunes saves that's a good start Guerrero is going to take our first penalty against Davies and scores Davis went the right way, but really had no chance. And now Nunes steps up against Kowalski. And saved a second one. Yes, come on. Here's Ramos. It's in. Now, can Nunes finish the hat trick and pretty much secure us? A spot. Oh, he wasn't far off. Tonali to put us 3 1 up on penalties and ensure that one goal. Yep. So one goal or one save will finish this tie. We are surely winning now. Can Nunes make the save and make himself a hero, saving three out of the four? Or is he going to come down to a penalty taker? Nunes saves it! He does make himself a hero. He does a bit of that to add to it for some reason. But boys and girls, we are through to the round of 16 in the Champions League. And that is where we're going to come back tomorrow. But if you've enjoyed that, please leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. I've been the Masked Manager. Until next time, I have spoken.